All right, guys, so this is the actual product itself in front of here. Um, so here we have a, uh, it, you can see that it is kind of has this little dome in the back, um, which is kind of interesting. So you actually can't lay this down flat without it kind of, um, it's gonna be kind of wobbly. So when you guys pick one of these up, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get the stand kind of all set and ready to go. Um, but this is the part of the video where we're gonna actually turn this sucker on and see what we can get out of, um, and see what we can get out of it. So we're gonna do a little quick setup for you guys. Okay guys, so this is going to be kind of an interesting video for you guys today um, because we're going to have to do this as far as the filming goes. So this is going to be the setup of how to set this up. So we're going to do English. This is definitely a touch screen um, connected to Wi-Fi. Wait for you guys to follow along just because I don't want it to be super glary and then that just gets annoying in my opinion. Um, so for that being said, we're going to continue and download. Okay, so it just wants us to kind of download some software. So this might take a minute. My internet's pretty fast, but we'll see how long this takes. Um, but if you guys wanna follow along and kinda of do what I'm doing, that would be the best bet for you. So, so far we've just hit go, and then we've set up the Wi-Fi on the actual device. So that's gonna be the best way to look at it um, as far as the setup goes. So it looks like at the top right here, guys, we actually have a, um, the top right looks like we actually have a camera. So this is gonna be used for your video calls and things like that. And it looks like above here, we actually have our silent switch and things like that, which I'm assuming is for people can actually call you. That's the cool part about this device. So it's a totally uh, video chat based platform and vehicle. So basically people can actually call you and it'll actually have the whole screen will be them and then you can actually have Wi-Fi enabled video calls. So I know you guys don't want to um, see this download because I don't even really want to be here for this download. So I am going to actually pick up the video after this download is done and then we can go from there. Um, it does give you a uh, tour. So if you guys want to hit this start tour, um, you guys can check that out. I'm not going to do that just because this is a setup of how I would do this. All right, guys, so I'm going to assume yours looks like this. We are going to restart this now. Um, the update was complete, so it says restart now. I would definitely recommend restarting it now. Otherwise, it might not perform as you want it to. All right, guys, so it looks like we're about to get started. So read the terms of service, name your device, and connect accounts like Facebook and WhatsApp. So it looks like you can do both of those. So it looks like uh, this is just terms of service. I would just hit continue. Um, I'm not going to read it because it is what it is, but I'm assuming it just says that you're giving them permission to connect your WhatsApp and your Facebook to this. Um, give portal name. So this is where you're gonna to wanna to actually name your portal, whatever you're gonna to wanna to do. Um, name it something funny, name it something whatever, but I'm gonna just kinda of skip through this, but I'm just showing you guys exactly what happens here. Um, and you guys can customize this how you please. And then you're gonna actually pick where you want it to be. So you can do living room, kitchen, dining room, office, family room, and that just helps it understand um, where it is. Um, but this isn't really a huge deal unless of course I think you were to set up like three or four of these and then it would want to tell you where you yours are all located So here's where you actually get to set up your workplace whatsapp or Facebook um, I'm not even sure what workplace means um, But Facebook or whatsapp probably gonna be the best where I'm gonna use Facebook for this exact one I don't really have a lot of experience with whatsapp, but you are able to use whatsapp with this So here's where you're gonna to wanna to actually set up a Facebook account or connect yours. I'm actually gonna create a whole new one for this exact situation. Um, but in this kind of situation, you would want to create your own. So we're gonna come back once I do that and then I'm actually gonna put this in to my Facebook account and then we're gonna go from there. So I'll see you guys shortly. All right guys, so once you have your Facebook set up and everything's rocking and rolling, you're gonna to want to um, put this code into your Facebook and then you're gonna to wanna to hit go. So I'm obviously not gonna show you guys my Facebook because that's a breach of privacy. Um, so 
after you hit go. So it should look like this once you hit go. And then from there, um, what we're gonna wanna do is we are gonna want to, your Facebook is connected, success, your max, okay. Excellent. So from here, this should hopefully say your Facebook is connected. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Once you connect it to your Facebook, then you're good to go. Hit continue, set a passcode for your profile, pick a passcode only you know. You'll use it to access personal settings in some apps. Okay. So I'm obviously gonna skip this part, guys, but you're gonna put in your passcode here, and then you're gonna use these keys by touching the screen to enter them here, and then you're gonna hit go. It actually is automatically gonna do what it looks like, but I'll see you guys in just a second. So then it looks like here, they're gonna want you to pick your favorite contacts, contacts, add contacts to your favorites. One's favorite, they'll appear on your home screen. Um, we're just gonna hit go, I don't need to do that. Uh, want to hide some contacts, hide certain contacts so anyone using this portal won't be able to connect with them. Um, continue with all contacts. And then getting started with Facebook Assistant, say, hey, portal to start a voice command and Facebook Assistant will help you make calls, play music, see birthdays and more. So it seems like this is actually more of a Google Home um, mixed with a video chat vehicle. So this is gonna be the best bet if you're looking for an older person or somebody who, or you're looking for someone, uh, your family in the kitchen or something like that, just to have kind of a virtual assistant anywhere and to have the best possible experience with that. So this is gonna be a, an assistant that's gonna help you with basically anything. We're gonna hit continue there. Um, so, if your Facebook account is connected to your portal, your Hey Portal voice interactions were are stored by default to make Facebook for better for everyone. Um, I mean, I would just say, okay, this is super helpful in my opinion. We're gonna find out. Here's one of the voices you can choose. You can always <laughs> change it later in settings. So that sounds pretty good. Mindrade grounded. One of the voices you can choose. Yeah, I don't like that. Here's we're gonna. One of the voices you yep, can we're gonna do this one. So you guys can go through here and pick which voice you want. Um, which is super nice. And you're gonna wanna make sure you actually really like that because this is gonna be talking to you all day. So set up Alexa on Portal. Um, I'm not gonna do that just because I don't want to right now, but you can actually hit continue and then set up your Alexa on the Portal and then everybody's gonna win. Uh, for this part, I'd recommend not doing that unless you want a bunch of emails from Facebook. I don't really like getting the emails about all this stuff from Facebook or anybody that to that matter. So I'm gonna hit continue without checking the box. So guys, that was a, I would give this difficulty like a zero out of 10. Um, I would say if you're somebody who's really challenged, I would say this is a one, and that's because you have to type in your Wi-Fi password, and if you don't have Facebook, this is definitely more of like a seven or an eight because you have to set up a Facebook account. So I definitely recommend getting a Facebook before setting this up, or having someone who has tech experience setting this up for you, and then having them help you set up a Facebook account, because otherwise, this was pretty easy, and I would say if you have a Facebook set up already and are fairly tech-oriented, this is gonna be something you'll knock out of the park in maybe five minutes. Definitely very easy. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. It looks like we are all set. Um, let's just explore what the home looks like real quick, and then we'll be good to go. So I, th I believe, like I said, this is a, you have to plug this device into the wall. You can't actually use this on battery, so I don't think it charges, because um, I think I have a really good feeling that if I unplug this right now, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna turn off. So yeah, this looks very similar to a Google Home. So you have all these different kind of ways of using it. Um, as far as actually making a call, what we're gonna wanna do is it looks like this is the profile and then these are the wallpapers, like home screens it looks like. And then what happens if we go, if we go down, if we go to the right, nope, that's not gonna work. What if we come up? So you can set the brightness, the volume, things like that. You can turn on Bluetooth, turn off the device. And then if we want apps to come up, oh, if you want apps to come up, what you do is you just touch the screen and then these are the wallpapers. Always touch the screen. You can go on the browser, you can add contacts, and then it seems like if you wanna call somebody, um, looks like you also have the ability to do tips, what's happening, get news, and then voice tips. It tells you kinda of how to use the, 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 the platform. So if we wanna add, so it looks like to add contacts, and then here you would just do a, a voice call. Um, this is actually a, um, a video call, and then up here you do a group call if you want to have a bunch of people on it and then it looks like the best way to do this is this is connecting directly through Facebook so this is using this is a vehicle to connect you to Facebook and then from here you can do all these different things using Facebook so it also looks like we have Spotify on here photo booth 
Watch, so Facebook Watch if you want to watch videos, iHeartRadio, Pandora apps. I mean, you can see for yourself there's a bunch of different options here. So this is a really cool platform for getting a bunch of content for a very low price. So guys, I would say overall Facebook portal, definitely a way to go here. Um, the setup was extremely easy. So here you're going to want to set up your um, contacts by connect using your Facebook contacts. So you're going to want to add these people as friends, add favorites. Um, so you're going to want to add people as your friends, so contacts, and then you're going to want to contacts, and then it looks like looks like this is the one we have right now. So to add, so let's go to tips and see if it can help us. That's just a profile for right now. So search contacts and then it looks like from what I'm seeing, the only downside to this is it almost is looking like you're gonna actually have to add them on your Facebook on the computer and then they'll show up here. Um, so I would recommend doing that as it looks like this is probably, um, so I would go to your Facebook home screen and then I would add contacts. This is different, I just set this up, this account. Um, so for that being said, I set this up because this is for a older person, um, but I just set this up, meaning that when you do this, I'm assuming that it's gonna populate with all of your contacts here, and then you'll be able to click and choose based off your Facebook ones, but it looks like it actually is not gonna dial based off of a phone number. This is only using Facebook, the vehicle of Facebook as a platform, so you actually have to be friends with these people on Facebook because you go to Messenger. Yep, that's what's going on. So you actually have to go to Messenger and then all of your people would show up here or if you have suggested groups, recents, all of that will actually set up here. So start group, call your, call your Messenger contacts, join with link, enter a link, join room, create a room. So it looks like all this is through Facebook though. Facebook is the actual umbrella here and this is just a vehicle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I wish I could show you guys how to dial people's names, but at the end of the day, what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna actually need to go onto Facebook, add people as friends, and then from there, you're gonna actually be able to use this and fully take advantage of it. I'll see you guys next time.